Hello and welcome to another episode of Revolver Broadcasting's A Few Shots. Um, if you haven't seen this show before, what we do here is we, uh, we, we take a few shots. Cheers, Alan. Bam. While we watch a video and we take a few shots verbally, verbally of course, uh, at uh, political figures and otherwise. Uh, this week, uh, or this time rather, we have uh, a video of uh, Joseph Robinette Biden. Uh, it's coming to us from Newsmax. So thank you, Newsmax, for providing this short. Uh, imagine this has to be boring, boring, boring for these kids to stand up here. You're allowed to do anything you want, including go steal a pumpkin if you want, anything you want to do. Folks, it's an honor for Jill and I to be here. You know, uh, we, uh, we've had, we, the reason we came is the chef's not bad. You know, we've, we've had a lot of meals with him in the past. Thank you, thanks for all you do. Mm. <laughs> do we want to do this backwards or we want to go to the, from the front to back? Because I think backwards would be funnier. Yeah, backwards would be funnier. Fine. fine. Yeah, that's it. <laughs> well, uh, you know, how many meals is, has he had from that chef that had to be pureed? <laughs> I'm thinking of just a handful uh, or a cup full because <laughs> you couldn't hold it in your hand. Yeah. <laughs> He's got to make it like baby food. Like I like <laughs> no more split pea soup. <laughs> and are the dentures clean before or after? I don't know. I just don't know. All right, Joseph, here comes the airplane. <laughs> <laughs> Air force one again. Poor Jill. <laughs> Where's Hunter? <laughs> She's just got to keep propping this man up. <laughs> yeah, weekend of burnizing it. <laughs> oh man, he just—they show up for the food. Uh, they don't show up for the people. They show up for the food. <laughs> oh man. So what? What else do we have here? So we have him talking about the chef, of course, at the end. But then, prior to that, he's he's uh, he's telling a young man, a person of color in particular, um, which I mean, we don't typically care about color, but no, they have so made it. They're. They've done the due diligence yeah. to point out color. It's it's the, it's what their side uh, uh, focuses in on. They they hone in on like you, you got to know. Well, uh, okay. Well, let's, this time I'm noticing because you're telling uh, a person of color to steal. Um, that's uh, that's a pretty big gaff there, if you ask me. Um, and then he's got his hand on the boy. Rather creepily, if I if I say so myself. I mean, I was thinking, you know, the biggest argument. You know, when we say, hey, we want people to be here legally, you know, or or the Repub the, the conservatives, I, I'm not one of them, but the ones that say, like, they're taking the jobs, and then, of course, their side says, they're jobs you don't want. Well, maybe, just maybe, he's like, you can steal a pumpkin. I mean, your dad, when your dad was out there tending them earlier. Like, <laughs> it's like a, a family product, right? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> one could insinuate that he's saying that. I don't know. I mean, I'm not doing that. I'm not, yeah. I'm just saying like, it's what they tell me. They tell me I'm not saying it. It's what they tell me. <laughs> right. I'm not, I'm not trying to be that way. I'm just saying like but he started it. <laughs> if that side tells us that the people of that origination are the ones doing those, those hard labor jobs. And then he looks at one of the kids and says, ah, still a pumpkin. He's, yeah. he's also probably saying, well, your mom and dad have been harvesting them. Yeah, uh, certainly. This, this reminds me of so many different things that's, that's happened in the past that is that Joe's done in particular, but he's they're just so blind to the things that they say. And yet we get scrutinized uh, on the, on the right for every little thing. So uh, I'm going to, I'm going to go as far as uh, scrutinize this, uh, look at just the way he's got his hand on his shoulder. I'm sorry. That's, uh, that's, that's creepy. It's kind of creepy. Yeah. I mean, at least he didn't do it Nancy Pelosi and push the kid out of the way. That's true. I mean, there, there's that. I just don't think he has the fervor in him at this age. I think he just freshly on his 80th birthday. This may have been right before. I don't know when this was. Over the weekend, right, I assume? Yeah. Um, so maybe 80 years old, he probably just doesn't have it in him. He's Mr. Burns him the best he can. Well, it, it, it could be what I what I heard. I had I actually heard Sterling say this earlier. He's, 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 he's holding him at arm's length. So that he keeps himself from sniffing the child. Oh, I thought we were going to say he was balancing himself. <laughs> He's like, come here, little boy. I'm tipping. <laughs> and not in the cow variety. I don't even have a bicycle underneath me. I'm falling over. <laughs> three points of contact. <laughs> just say. He has three points of contact now. Yeah. <laughs> so, you know, I, I have to wonder, though, if you're going to make those kind of comments about him stealing a pumpkin, what does the July, the July edition look like with watermelons? I'm just saying. Mm. Like, <laughs> if wow. you're... If you're going to be stereotypical and be that way, Joe, um, 
and you're all about diversity. I'd, I'd hate to see what kind of people you would invite to a and July. Or if, or if we were standing there and he's like, hey, go steal some potatoes. Yeah, right. I mean, there's your potatoes <laughs> over there, boys. It's the yeah. whole reason your family came to this country. <laughs> you're Irish. You like potatoes, right? <laughs> right. I mean, it's true. But <laughs> I, I mean, it's tr- Yeah. I mean, screw you. It's true. But I mean, I'll... I'll accept it, and I'll take your damn potatoes. <laughs> <laughs> I'm going to load them up by the truckload. I don't even like them raw. I'll eat them in front of you that way. I'll but just I'm crunch still right in those bastards. sore about the, comp- uh, the, the comment. <laughs> <laughs> Sterling's like, oh, man, he's, they're going on about potatoes a little too long. You know what, Sterling? You just don't understand our passion for potatoes. True. My family came here because they stopped growing. <laughs> it's true. <laughs> <laughs> there was a famine. Uh, yeah. There was, and then we came here, and then they, you know, made us uh, the hard workers. Yeah. <laughs> they put us, they made us cheap labor. So, yeah, eh, whatever. We did all right. Now we mocked them all. Mocked them all. Yeah, with our <laughs> potatoes. Yeah, delicious. <laughs> <laughs> I, I think that's a uh, pretty good place to, to to close this off. What do you think? I think we're solid. Yeah, I think we'll get we'll get a, a, a cheers on. Let's that. get there. Bam! I never did take a drink. Man, I gotta take a drink. Let's drink. get there real quick. One drink on the camera. Mm-hmm. So yeah, while you're at it, and, and you've sure, certainly you've enjoyed this episode of a few shots, make sure that you're following everything Revolver Broadcasting. You see that fancy logo there. Um, while you're following all these shows, uh, make sure you're also jumping over to the Laughing Libertarian. That's what uh, Alan hosts. Did I say our names at the beginning of this? You did not. I didn't. So Who are you? since you're here at the end of the video, I guess you might as well know that I'm Joshua Cummins. We know you watched it all. Yeah, and that's Alan McFarland. Yes, sir. <laughs> And thanks for watching. We'll see you next time. Thank you. See you then.